Welcome back to week number 10, year number two with the GGBFL featuring the Oklahoma City Bison, buddy. Now, last week, our boy Lamar Jackson did pretty well for himself. 300 pass yards, two passes, touchdowns, the interceptions we're not talking about, but he did have 74 rush yards and two rushing touchdowns. He was a monster out there. Uh, Kayvon Thibodeau goes for three tackles, two picks, and two touchdowns, which is pretty wild for a big dude like that. Pause if needed. Josh Allen goes for 470 passing yards and six passing touchdowns. He got sacked seven times, though. Big pause if needed. And then Nola Smith Jr. goes seven tackles, four sacks, and one forced fumble. Pretty crazy week, I think, all around. But, you know, I'm going to be a homer this week, and we're going to give it to our boy Lamar Jackson. But that's not really up to me. That's just my own personal accolades that no one cares about. Now, coming into this week, a mystery player saying, Coach, last week was awesome. Back in high school and college, a lot of teams used to use me primarily as a blocker. But I've always considered myself a receiving threat. Who is telling us this? We're about to find out. Trey McBride wants three touchdowns or 150 receiving or rushing yards. You are a tight end, sir. Chill. Now, Jameer Gibbs comes to us. Apparently, his picture is not going to load, but he says, I appreciate you calling my number last week. It was a high point in my season, and I want to build on that performance with another big game. Interesting, Jameer, because Trey McBride wins three touchdowns. How many do you want? Four or 200 yards rushing, receiving. Stop it. Get some help. Now, this week, we are facing a very difficult opponent. I've lost one game this season. He's lost one game this season. But he has the nastiest offense in the league pretty much every year that he's been in. We're playing Mr. Doctor and One in the Virginia Beach Dreadnoughts. Now, his top player is Terry McLaurin. He has TJ Watt. He's got Darius Slade Jr. He's got David Boxiari. You can tell that there's a lot of talented people here. You might be saying Sam Howell at 89 overall. Yeah, he has been balling with Sam Young, leading the league in passing, I think, pretty much every single year. He's at least top three this season as well. Sam Howell's going to be an X Factor pretty soon right now. At halfback, he's Javante Williams and James Robinson. You go over to the wide receiver spot. We saw Terry McLaurin. George Pickens is there as well, which is scary. Alec Pierce, super underrated, 94 speed, 94 acceleration. He's got Josh Stackhouse, who's 6'1", uh, with pretty decent speed overall. He's got a really good spectacular catch at 82 for a rookie. Bo Melton, who's fast. Kalen Geiger, who maybe isn't as fast, but still some great talent there. Then a tight end, David Njoku. His receiving threats are nasty. And then as for a secondary, we saw Slay. We saw uh, that he has Kyrie Elam as well. Christian Folden, former Oklahoma City Bison. We did a trade with him, I believe, in season one. Kyler Gordon, Dane Jackson, and Kalen Barnes. And then a free safety, Lewis Seen, who is fantastic. And then strong safety, uh, he's going to have Chuck Clark, who is going to make some big plays for him. I'm also a little worried because he has Nick Cross there as well. So he's got plenty of depth in case somebody gets injured. But we've got to work it out for us today. A very good team versus my team, which is probably overperforming right now. Oh, my God. Doc's running. Things you don't expect to see that. And then we heard his running back. Oh my God. Okay. Madden 23, that's a touchdown. Boy, that had me so scared. Are you kidding me? All right. We only gave up three points in the first drive. That's progress. All right, all right. Jesus. Oh, he was ready for the juke. Push! We'll take five yards. I think he's blitzing here. No, he's not. It was a fake. Mmm. 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 Oh my God, if he got that, I would have been losing my mind. Let's go, Lamar. Be safe, Lamar. Be safe. All right, let's see what we got. Let's go, Lamar. We'll take that. Hey, no fumbles, no turnovers. We got a touchdown. Let's go. Probably our only lead of the entire game. Play action. Give me that. Jamel D, let's go. Oh, you went out of bounds. I needed a good return off that. Oh, DJ. God, that was so close. I wanted to go left, but the audible didn't, or the adjustment didn't work. That sucks. Way to send him. Way to send him, Doc. I wanted to throw that, but I knew he would have picked it off. He's blitzing. This is tough. Oh my God, Trey McBride, you're a grown man. I cannot believe he just mossed Darius Slade Jr. Big play, Jamar. No, Jesus. <gasps> I can't believe I got that. Oh. Here's in there. Let's go. All right, that's a huge drive. Uh, I didn't think that was going to turn out that way. We threw too many 50-50 balls. We got okay, but our luck's not going to be able to keep that up. That was, we got bailed out twice. I kicked it to the left every time. I think I have. 
He's lining it. He's knowing that now. <laughs> oh my god, he fumbled! No! What are the chances? I hate this game. Why? Oh, we got that. Let's go, Jabril. Big play. Okay, that was probably not the run we were looking for. Come on, Jamar. Oh! DJ, let's go! What a grown man. What a grown man, DJ. He just levitated. Oh my God, Sam Howe. He fumbled, pick it up this time. I swear to God, if he recovers it again, he did. My guy had his hands on it, pause if needed. Brother. Oh my God, the one-handed interception, CJ, let's go. That's major, right before the two minute warning too. I thought we had a, a larger lane than that. Okay, that's Nick Cross and I, he's so good. I had him. I had him. I just didn't have time. Good blitz. Jarvis Horn, I love you. Yeah, I should have known. There we go. I wanted him to over pursue. We got that lane all day. Big play. Jameer Gibbs has like 15 rushing yards on seven carries, but he's got two touchdowns. It makes no sense. Is he going to fumble this time? He recovered it again! What? <laughs> I hit him with the Terry Tate office linebacker. And he still recovered it. Bo Melton was like, nah, big dog, I got you. Good hit. I just don't want to throw a pick. I need to make sure I just get points every single time. All right, let's get a field goal here. I'll give us a 28 point lead. Let's play some defense. Terry McLaurin, man, he's good. And that's why you were always afraid to play Doc. That was bad by me. I had Terry McLaurin, the guy was offset from him instead of Manning straight up. And yeah, Verticals is going to torch that. Even though I'm in the right defense, he was just offset and he got a free release. All right, we need to get something good going here. Those backside defenders are stopping major runs from Jameer. Oh my God. Yeah, he man zero blitz. I had a feeling. He's been getting really good pressure, but Trey McBride's in the end zone. Let's go, big fella. Let's go. Oh, let's go, Isaiah. I think he wanted Terry on that read, and we were able to get the play we wanted. He had to go backside drag, wide side of field. We had Terry in the open side, so I think we, we did the right thing there. Big play. As a user pick, too, we had to go get it. Oh, we'll take our field goal against us 48 points in the afternoon. Let's play some defense. Let's go, Jeremy. Oh, my, my drafted fullback is not blocking anybody. Dude, I had to instantly throw that. He had everyone in the backfield. You engaged eight. Bro, I immediately threw that. I think that's all she wrote. Hey, look, I'm gonna be honest. This is one of the toughest players we've ever played in the league. And this game went our way 1000%. This will not happen the next time we ever face. And I'm gonna regret the fact that this game was 55 to 10. But for right now, I'm gonna take it because I needed this. Recap of the stats, Lamar was 12 for 18, 336 yards, two touchdowns, not a single turnover. Sam Howell, <clears throat> it's a rough day for him. And Sam Darnold was Sam Darnold. On the ground, Jameer Gibbs had 111 yards, three rushing touchdowns. I think he needed four to get the X factor, but he ultimately didn't get it, so it is what it is. Uh, Keaton Mitchell was pretty solid early on, but we shut it down for the most part. Lamar Jackson was 51 in a tutty. Sam Howell fumbled twice. We didn't get either one. 
And Isaiah Robinson ran for one. On the receiving side, Terry McLaurin's a dog. We held him to one touchdown. That's a big W in our book. Uh, Jamar Chase had four for 88. Didn't get in the end zone, though. Trey McBride had two for 92 and a touchdown. DJ Chark got a touchdown as well. The second one of the game. Uh, these guys play well. The wide receiving court was good, but ultimately with how the game went, we didn't need to pass as much. I think this might be an Oklahoma City Bison record. Nate Hobbs had 14 tackles, the most I think I've ever seen in a game that we played. Wild. Jeremy Harris had 10 as well. Uh, from a sack perspective, big pause if needed. Boogie Basham had two and a half. Michael White goes for one and a half a sack from Adafi Owe. And then interception wise, it was kind of an Oprah game. Jamel Dean had two, Rogers had one, Peppers had one. So did Johnson and Jeremy Harris. We had a couple defensive touchdowns. I think at least one. We had one. I kid. Isaiah Rogers goes in the end zone. We will never play this well against Doctor again. But for now, we'll take it. Be safe, be smart, tell somebody you love them. Catch you guys in the next one.